and welcome to our new walkthrough, or let's play. <laughs> You've done so many walkthroughs, you can't keep things straight anymore, can you? Uh, so, yeah, welcome, ladies, gentlemen, distinguished individuals. This is Rocket Power Beach Bandits. Um, we are actually taking a, like I said, we're going to do Rocket Power Beach Bandits and um, Kingdom Hearts back to back. Or but, at least try to. But since... AA? That's... that's or is... Okay. <laughs> but since our last three Let's Plays were all, um, RPGs... Yeah, we're taking a bit of a break here. And switching it up and doing... We're, gonna, we're still gonna do the back-to-back, -back, but we're starting with Rocket Power first. Right. <sighs> Hydrating up before recording session. <clears throat> How's that? Sure. I I don't care. <laughs> insufficient. Oh, insufficient space. Uh. Okay. We should probably sort this out and then edit edit this. Yeah, I'll just override it. Huh. It's not important to me. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna get all the data back anyway, aren't we? It's not it's not on one of those games where uh um how do I explain this? Well it's not like this is a you know a forty hour game. No. You can beat it in a few hours. Or not a few hours, but you can beat it in a day. Alright, first cut team. Let's get down to the short shack for some outrageous thick shakes and some serious grindage. Oh, I'm so hungry. Uh, a little bit stilted on that delivery. Of a long, long Last one to the shore shack's a squid. You're on, Sammy. Uh, so yeah, I, I never actually really watched a lot of Rocket oh, no. Power. Guys, look. Uh, well, I don't know. It looks fine to me. The sand. It's all gone. Oh. Right, My low poly. I can't go out on that. Yeah, no, actually, with be totally cut to shred. on those three rocks, there yes. Stake than just your surfing, Otto. What about the shore shack? If they shut down the beach, all the tourists will disappear. Not to mention the surf contest. Double bogus. The Ocean Shores Classic is this only is such a week away. Show. Raimundo will be majorly bummed. Well, um, I guess, uh, grab your pickaxe, hey, we're going minecrafting. Say something. Uh, okay. Oh, to all those in the northeast, please stay safe. Oh, yeah, I heard about that big blizzard heading your way. Well, they're already in it. Oh, yeah. There's statewide ban, statewide travel bans in New Jersey and Massachusetts. Ah. Reduction in the quality of our beach overnight. That's one way to put it. I'd like to assure you that there is no reason to be alarmed. I'm sure this is Yeah, all of the sand just suddenly disappearing totally is and rest assured that we are worth <laughs> not a this not a issue thing. As soon as we can. On that note, I'd like to welcome Eric Gollum, whose real estate and construction company has recently Gollum. decided Gollum. to make ocean shores its home. So while we're we're, we're from note, Washington and while we're used to snow and prepared for it and equipped for it, you guys get a lot more than us. Anomalous sand deficiency. Thank yeah, that's mighty fancy words there, buddy. Why don't you just say it? The beach is gone. Uh, that's a guy who's walking like he doesn't Thank have a care you. in the world. And good afternoon, everybody. Oh, he's not voiced when by Andy Circus. I, I mean, the myself, worst bands we get are burning bands. Friendly yeah. community, just the kind of place you would want to take your family on vacation. Due to uh, no, no wind, you, so the smoke just lingers live here around. All year oh round. yeah, it's awful. That's why I decided to come here and do my best to help. We don't have an inversion right now because it's best. like possible place it could be. 35 degrees. Now I know yeah. some of you are a little worried about the sand, 
but rest not like when it's like 20 and degrees one of my and top there's no wind. Tissues is into the problem. Hydro no, that's not a real word. Stop making words up. What word? Who am I kidding? You're a CEO. You, you're going to make words up anyway. What word did he use? Hydro no logisticians or something. I don't know. Well, I don't know what it was, but it's not a word. So don't be surprised if you see teams of my technicians over the next few weeks. Uh -huh. I'm sure things will be back to normal before the end of summer. Thank you for your patience. And by the way, I'm totally not a bad guy. <laughs> you know, just just in case my walk and voice didn't tip you off. Hydro dinologicals. Yeah, right. We better keep our eyes peeled and go see what Raimundo thinks. We need to try and find out what's going on around here, or there will be no summer for any of us. We hear you, brother. I, I get the feeling this guy, the guy voicing, uh, oh, that's, that's Reggie, right? Yeah. Um, again, I never really watched Rocket Power. Shame on you. Well, okay, this is actually not my fault. We tried watching Rocket Power for a little while, but, uh, we got stuck with a, um, we, we ended up, and this was back before my younger brothers were born, so it was me and my sister, and we were both pretty little. And, of course, she would be no even little than sure me. Classic, unless the but we ended up watching the week. Halloween episode, and she was terrified. That was the first episode you saw of the series? First one yeah, I basically. And she ended up terrified of the series, so Mom basically put a ban on it. Will come back. I'm sure of it. Did you even try to explain to her that that was a Halloween episode, and it's we'll not, not like that for every episode? Out. Yeah, she okay, didn't guys, exactly listen. But, you know, I, I mean, there's not much I could, I could say about that. Okay, so now we're controlling Sam, Squid, to his friends, and sometimes his enemies. Also known as the Flat Top Destroyer. Not really. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, the, the concept of the game is pretty simple. I mean, we basically have our... <laughs> know exactly what's going on here. And we control the four main characters of Rocket Power. Whoa, whoa, Did you ever whoa. see the Halloween this episodes of the other Nickelodeons? Like uh, Rugrats? Anyway, no. you gotta be as far as I can remember. Pretty please. You, you like Rugrats, right? It won't take yeah. A Nothing doing, kiddo. You'll have to wait until my boss gets the all clear. It won't be long. Go play on the pier or something. Uh, that guy has unnaturally long arms. But okay. So yeah, for some reason the game just starts us off controlling Sam. Um, and you know, I I kind of liked some of the. Great. Well, thank you, Sam. And we just jump off the edge here because you know video game physics. Check it out! I think it's watching us. Take me to your leader. What is it, Lars? Let us see. You wish, Maurice. This is our hangout. Under the pier is for big kids only. <laughs> Twerp, make them prove their worthiness, oh mighty large. Ah, uh, yes, of course. The bully and his two toadies. I could mop up the bowl with any of Okay then, Rocket Bozo. I'm calling you out. In case you haven't figured it out by now, Lars is Twister's older brother who picks on him a lot. Oh, okay. Oh, right, that's... Okay, that's his name. Twister. You've got to show us what you've got there. Why did I think it was Reggie? All right, bro. But if we win, you're going to clean my room out for me. So wait, you were asking about Twister earlier then? Yeah, because it's... Because it's Otto... Right, Re that's oh god. Okay, I can't keep I can't keep people's names straight. Reggie's a female's name. Right, yeah, that's her name. I'm just like, no, I'm 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 bad at this. I'm uh, again, I didn't watch this. Although Twister's real name okay. is actually Maurice. Let's try yeah. 50, 50 grind. Rodriguez. Come up the ball edge while pressing the grind button. So we come up here, hit L2, 50-50, yeah. This was actually not too bad of a skating game. I think it borrowed a lot of its, um... Borrowed a lot from uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, actually. Pulled off the 900! 
Stunt. Damn. My middle man. The front side grab is a good move. Two. Stunt plus forward right. Woo! It's also got a pretty kicking soundtrack. Hey, Otto, do your air walk. Stunt plus backward left. Yeah. Now for a method air. You can tell, he's played this game a lot. Yeah. I know what to do before he even says that. Moves. Try a it doesn't want to register, register sometimes. Right. Now, do your double yeah. So yeah, everybody has their own different moves. So we gotta get a trick, then a spin, and bam. Eh, not quite. Uh oh! Two arms, head. Jack, try a trick in a spin. Big points. So yeah, by filling up your by by doing tricks, you get um you get fuel in your rocket power meter there. Haha, uh -huh. Title drops. Who's the man? Uh, to get you going faster. Big points. I get it. Yeah, thank you, tutorials. There we go. Now for a huge spin. Get as much air as you can and see if that's it. Eat your heart out, Tony Hawk. These 12 year old kids are doing 900s. Warm up with a little grinding. Sweet. Mix it up. Big boys. So basically, we're gonna, we're, if I remember how this works correctly, we're gonna have to just beat his score. Now for some grabs. Which, you know, it's the first that challenge of the game. Real, realistic sun reflection. Yeah, glare. Yeah. Slash lens flare. That was no, an trick. Whatever. Get it right, game. So of course it's not gonna be too hard for us to beat. Your turn, Otto. So we have to beat fifteen hundred fifteen thousand points. Not like that's gonna be hard. Especially with the kind of air our our friend. Uh, auto rocket can grab. Woo! Oh, ah! Uh, ow. Who's the man? And if you leave it plain enough, you can get two different alternate tracks. Right, for each level. And. I'm not sure if this is a good Ow. or bad thing, but many levels share the same uh, track. Eh, that's probably just a case of, like, they needed to have X amount of music done in Y amount of time. Uh, for example, Spiral Ripple's Rage. Every single level was unique in music, with the exception of Fracture Hills, which used the same music from Idle Springs. Right. But we can cover that when we get to that particular game. Um... That, I'm not sure if that was from time restrictions, considering they were able to get. Probably. I mean, we're talking about two different games with two very different development cycles. Spyro's an original property. This is a tie-in to an already existing property, so they probably had much stricter time deadlines. Man, let me tell ya. I actually started skateboarding a little bit when I was in middle school, partly because I loved the Tony Hawk games and stuff like this, and I was eternally disappointed I would never get to be able to pull off anything like this. Yeah, I was at a skate park once with my mom, I was still little, and then we had this little skateboard, we bought this little skateboard that I used for skating. Turns out it was a showcase thing. Well, okay then. Sweet moolah. I mean, I was able to skate on it, but... And then we get a gold coin for that. It wasn't meant Whatever for skating, it was a showcase thing.
Oh. So one day I'm on the things and I fall down and hurt myself and okay, cry my heart boy. out. Are you gonna show us what you got under the pier or not? Or do you need another thrasher to encourage you? Alright, follow me. A deal is a deal. Come on. Check oh, it out, Dweebo. We found it here this morning. It's a trash can. Okay, what? Never mind, it's an advanced scout from the Grouch Army. With the missing sand, there's only one explanation. Space alien! Space huh? alien! It, no, no, it's clear. Twister, look what you did! Seriously, they're not space aliens. Look, this is the same logo that suit guy has on all his stuff. Hey, what do you know? Leave it to a kid's show villain to leave an incredibly obvious trail of clues. You all this somehow. Not space aliens. I knew that Gollum guy was up to something. So. Must have taken his somehow. Come on, we better tell Dad. Did you Digimon World Dance Squad is a, is a PS2 game, and I think it's got this really weird glitch where, like, the, when the characters are talking, suddenly they'll talk really, really, really fast. Huh, weird. I'd have to actually see it in action. I'll show you some videos afterward, but... But anyway, um... Back to the game we have at hand. Uh, we're just heading back to talk to... Um... God, I can never remember the characters' names. Raymundo. Raymundo. Thank you. Um... Raymundo! We know what happened to the sand! Robot took it! Big metal robots under the pier. It's true, Dad. We saw one. Uh, you guys haven't been playing in the sun without hats again, have you? Seriously, Dad. We wouldn't make something like this up. It's not like the last 12 times we made something like this up. That Gollum guy. We saw this logo painted on the robot. Yeah, you can tell this is like a, a 90s game. Because, like, if it had been made, in, made today, like, the characters would have cell phones with... They'd you have smartphones or camera about. phones or something. If you're sure about this, you guys go see Officer Shirley and tell her what you saw. Yeah! The long arm of the law! Let's see how much he likes getting busted. And they'd have taken a picture of, of, the, of the logo. Ah, well. So now we have to go find this Officer Shirley. I can't remember when the rocket power premiered. I think it was like in the, the very late 90s. Yeah, probably. Ow. Okay, so yes, we do take some damage from falling. Fortunately, we can just recover that by eating some chili cheese fries. Not even kidding, that's what the, the health pickups are. Excellent! So what do these, uh, what do these coins do for us? To advance. Okay, that's helpful. We, and, um... Or to play a game, a mini game, and then cool. You'll see. Uh, okay. Okay, and then you can, if you don't want to walk, you can just switch to skateboard, or rollerblades, get around faster. Basically, Tony Hawk it everywhere. Woo! So yeah, here we are, and just running around the pier. I, I definitely have been playing too much Jet Set Radio, because my, my instinct now is to look for the spray paint can pickups. So 15, that's just the number of coins that are in this particular area. That we need. And you... There are more scattered in the other areas. But okay, but... There are, more than, there are more than we need. Oh, I, I see. We just need 15. I thought I saw one up here. Uh, apparently not. Ow, right into the fence. Woo! Uh, definitely don't try that one at home, kids. Yeah, ow. 
and the sound of an invisible skateboard. Officer Shirley. <laughs> Screw you, uh, normal entrance. Yeah, why, why leave through there when you can just leave in style? So we stop in midair for the scene transition. Usually found at City Hall. Got it. Eh, may as well save. <laughs> this was this was in the days before autosave. 